Hey guys! Ah, uh, woo! Uh oh, I'm dropping things. Yeah, I wanted to share something with you that I don't think a lot of people really talk about, and that's fine because leave it to me. I like to talk about all the things that people don't really talk about. <laughs> As you probably know, I'm new to living officially in Nashville as of January 1st, 2018. This move to Nashville was like uprooting my life in LA and like replanting it in Nashville, which is great. However, with every change and major change comes a lot of grieving. So people don't talk about that very much and even I don't talk about, about it very much. I'm all about embracing the journey and the adventure and make the most of it. But I also have to work really hard to identify like not so good feelings and underlying emotions. <sighs> Whenever there's been a major shift in my life, I've first seen the excitement and adventure in it, second, seen the fear, scary, sad, emotional parts of it. Which I think is good for me because I'm not sure I would have made certain choices and done certain things if I didn't, if I would have known all the things I would face going into that. You know how that is? Like, good thing we don't know everything that we're gonna experience in life, otherwise we probably wouldn't do half the things we do. But then looking back, we're glad that we did them, but we're just glad we didn't know what we were gonna do before we did them because otherwise we probably wouldn't do, anyway, does that make sense? I've also had major shift in relationships. I've lost some relationships. I've gained relationships. My work has shifted and taken different forms, good forms and stretching forms and unexpected ways. I live in a new place. Oops. Anyway, change brings about a lot of things. It can be a good change, but it's still emotional. It can be exciting, but it's still like kind of painful because we're letting go of old things, old comfort zones, and we're embracing something totally new. So our brain is stretched, our emotions are stretched, our relationships are stretched. I mean, everything is changing. Apparently, they suggest not changing too many massive things at once because it's like very a lot very a lot. It's a lot for our little brains to handle and our little hearts to handle. However, sometimes everything changes all at the same time. You feel me? This is an eyesore, by the way. I'm gonna move it. Much better. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna do some like real talk here. Grieving is a real thing. Did you know that any change that takes place in life, you have to grieve it. Any change, any loss, the loss of a friend, the change of schools, the loss of a pet, the loss of a house, moving, all the things. We need to grieve it all. I learned that years ago when I was in grief recovery for the first time, which is when I realized I hadn't grieved anything in life, not one thing. My track record is every few years things surface and I realize I really have some things to grieve. Maybe I've gone through a few traumas and losses and it usually takes a few <laughs> for me to really stop and like grieve. Here are 10 things that I want to share with you about grief. Okay, number one, grieving is okay. It's normal and it's good. We are not crazy when we have to grieve. We're human. Two, when we're in a grieving season, it takes so many forms. But let me just give you an example of what grieving looks like to me. I will have a lot more emotional roller coasters in a season of grieving. I'll feel like great one day and I'll feel really low another day. And I used to think there was something wrong with me and I was like, oh, I'm crazy, what's wrong with me? Am I losing myself? And ultimately when I realized and identified, oh my word, I'm grieving, it's okay to have some ups and downs. Like that's just normal in the season and eventually I'll have more up days than down days. But having those is okay. It's normal and it's actually good because it means that you're pressing into some of those emotions that we need to go through in order to move on. Okay, number three, if you give yourself permission to recognize what pain you're in the middle of or what you've recently gone through or what loss you just had or what change you had that's really hard, it really helps put a voice to whatever it is you're feeling. Number four, grief usually hits very unexpectedly. Like I will also sometimes find myself just crying suddenly and wanting to like feel these emotions. <laughs> And I used to try to hide it and pretend like it wasn't there. But when I just kind of let myself go there, then I get to the other side. Number five, when we understand what we're in the middle of, we can actually walk through it and not question ourselves. 
it's like the questioning ourselves that makes it worse, at least for me. Whenever I'm going through something and I don't understand, I have a tendency to just think I shouldn't be this way, I should be fine. I should be able to be happy and joyful and peppy and I'm just not right now, why? When I understand why, then I give myself the freedom to grieve and move on. Okay, number six, something super duper important about grieving is being able to share the honest truth with close and safe friends. Be honest about your heart, be honest about your feelings, be honest about your days and not try to hide it because the truth is there's no reason to pretend like we have it all together. If we're honest with ourselves and honest with others, it brings so much freedom and gives us so much power to walk through it and walk through it well. I think when you can voice what you're going through and with safe people, and be open and honest about it, that is 100% the most important thing when you're going through some tough stuff and grieving. Seven, don't be afraid of it or ashamed. There's absolutely no reason for that. Nada, nada. Okay, number eight, don't fight it. Yeah, if I try to fight my like tears, <laughs> it just is not good. <laughs> if I'm just feeling it coming, I just need to let it out and move on. Give yourself grace to feel all the emotions. And then, once you get it out of you, if you're on the floor just bawling up a storm, I have done that so many times. Let me just tell you, you know the ugly cry? The ugly cry? Like, <laughs> just like bad. Every once in a while, I just have to let out a really good ugly cry. Just do it, just let yourself let it out, for goodness sake, whoa. Okay, number nine. Grief doesn't last forever. And oh my word, if we think it's gonna last forever, we will go crazy. It's a temporary pain, it's a temporary feeling, it's a temporary emotion. There is freedom on the other side. Grief does not last a lifetime. It's painful in the waiting, but it's worth it when you can press into it and identify the truth and make it to the other side. Okay, number 10. Every kind of grief looks different, but it's a natural process. You are not alone. I hope this was helpful, and if you liked it, will you please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend? Thank you to my Patreon family. I could not do this without you. It's because I have support and a family behind me that I actually can do this. If you would like to join the family, it would be so great to have you. Please check it out at the end of the video. I'd love for you to help me create. Have a great day. I love you.